Hello and welcome to Horseshoe Master How To Videos. This is clip number seven and in this video we'll be working on entering scores to the round robin. Okay we now have Horseshoe Master open so let's go down to the left here and click on tournaments and then go up and click on play single. Alright the first thing we want to do is make sure we have the correct tournament here in this window and I do and now let's go load a class. Let's go load a class and as you can see here in the round robin window I have most all the scores entered and I have them entered for all the other classes too so we can save time on this video. So the first thing we want to do though is go up and check these little boxes at the top. We want to check score that box and when I do it adds an extra column here and this extra column and cells that it adds is to add the single points that is scored in a game score checker can verify that the score is correct so the first one we want to go to here we want to add the extra points to Jim and David's game and on the score sheet there is a also a column that has a place to put the single points and at the bottom of the score sheet there's also a place to total up the single points so let's put David, I mean Jim here, the score sheet says he has five single points. Scroll over and it says David has three. Alright, you want to click your box, you've got it entered, and then you want to arrow up. But it won't let me out of this row because the score is incorrect. So what you want to do, you've got to go to the score sheet, find your error, and correct it, and come back to the round robin window here, and then where you enter the scores, correct it in the score and then go to arrow up and it'll let you out of that row but it won't let me out because this is fictitious scores in here so we're going to have to disable score checker to get out of that. Now let's go up and check on the forfeit block here where it says forfeit videos. Put a check mark in there and that opens a forfeit column as you see here. Doug comes to me in the last game of the tournament and says I can't pitch. I've got a problem. I've got to leave. So for whatever the reason is the first option you want to do, you want to put a pacer in for it, but we can't find a pacer. We'll go back and we add Doug's name back. The only option is for Doug to forfeit this game to John, since we can't find a pacer. So we click in the forfeit block here, and the next thing we do, we go over and we put zero shoes in that game, because they're not pitching any shoes. And this, if we leave the shoes at where it's defaulted them to, then it's going to change their ringer percentage for both of them, and have a, an error in the tournament results in our percentage. Let's go back error up and you see the forfeit has gave John the win and Doug the loss and there's no shoes in the game. And I'll show you when we preview the report what that looks like. So we've got all uh, the scores in except one here and we've got to get Buck Carl scores in. Okay all the scores are completed for that class and all the other classes so let me scroll up Okay, first thing I want to do, I want to go preview the class results to make sure that I've got everybody the right amount of games and everything. And I've made this mistake a lot of times. I just, after the last scores, in, tell it to print. And then I've got a mistake and have to go back and find it and correct it and come back and print again. So what I want to do, I want to make sure that this little box down here where it says box scores is checked. And this is the report you will get the box scores to check. Class results and game by game results. And while I got this uh, file up here, if you'll notice down here on Doug and John, this forfeit, it shows them no shoes and no percentage, both of them. So, and it gives John the win and Doug the loss. So the forfeit thing worked. Let's get back out of that file. Let's show you that if this box is unchecked, here is the report you'll get for it. You'll get just the tournament, your class results, I mean. Uh, no game by game. Get out of that one and go back to where we, we want to click the box back because we want game by game results. Let's click the, we want to print three copies. So click on the one where it's defaulted there. Click three on your keyboard and it'll put three copies. And so tell it to print. So we've printed the three copies of the class results. One for the first, one for second and one for me to pass out the awards with. So now we want to go get complete tournament results. So we go to reports, click on results, make sure that box checked, and then we go preview it, and then here is the file you will get when you preview that 
you get all three classes the results that's the one I'll print and put on the bulletin board or give anybody else that wants a copy that about does it for this session and I hope you find these videos helpful and with that I wish you a good day